Teaching and learning is about asking questions and it's about being curious. And it's not about a direct transmission of knowledge from me to you. It's about engaging the learner. And when you engage the learner, you need to think about what is the space that they're in? What materials do they have? What does it feel like when they enter a classroom? This is a space for students to come into and engage in teaching and learning in ways that are hands-on, interactive, based in curiosity and question-making and uncovering and discovering knowledge for yourself. If you're in person, you come, you'll come here to this space, be in person um, as a student learner. If you are taking the class remotely, we are integrating the technology to have you participate um, as actively as possible, even though you're taking the course remotely from your home. So you come in as a student, we have a whole group um, area, so where everybody might be meeting at the beginning of a class period with the instructor, and you're going over topics from class, the instructor's presenting some things to you, maybe setting up some activities or some experiences that you're then going to engage in for the rest of the class period. Maybe you're going to play with the wind tunnel and you have a prompt or a provocation, a challenge. How far does it go as it flies out of the wind tunnel or something that stays in the wind tunnel but doesn't fly out? Or you might be invited to, you know, come to the mark making area and you're thinking about the different languages of the different mark making tools and, and what that means and how you can use them. And, and those concepts, of course, will be integrated into whatever course you're taking. We're really thinking about where do we position our monitors? How do we make them feel like they are part of the space as much as possible? And also using our new technology, such as the OWL Cam, where it captures students in person as they're speaking it focuses on them, so remote people can see that person as an individual speaking, and then the people here can see the remote people <laughs> as individuals speaking. So it sort of feels more like a give and take and not so much like a static, you're sitting on a Zoom and you're just passively taking in, but you're also actively able to participate. Using the, the technology to move the virtual people about the space. We're literally walking you over. You're, you know, figuratively sitting there moving through the classroom space. Come on over here and see what the folks are doing in this part of, of the classroom. People here can look at the screen and see what the folks at home are, how they're manipulating things. And then they can look back and see if the people here in the space are manipulating things. And then they can have that, you know, conversation back and forth. It's a way to kind of break boundaries of what um, might be available in some, of, in some other more you know, traditional based classrooms, opening up those possibilities across the campus. We, want, we really want to see it as a, a, a cross-disciplinary space. So come, come on in, come with an open mind, um, curiosity, and we hope we see you here. <laughs>